Hi, I'm Stephen Rulark. And I'm Alex Mantanona. And we're doing Cal State Northridge's uh, OCHEM series. This is 333, and today we're going to be doing melting points. All right, so what you're going to need for this experiment is, uh, number one, a little spatula. Number two, usually a, a watch glass and a, a powder sample. Uh, you will also need a thermometer, and make sure that the, the thermometer, the kerosene, is all the way through. There's no breaks in the blue line. If there's a break, that means that thermometer is uh, no good. And then you will need some capillary tubes. These can usually be found over the sink, and you just go ahead, open it up, and there's capillary tubes in there. And most importantly, you're going to need your melt temp. Now, your melt temp. Uh, what this does is you can go ahead and turn it on and when you turn it on a light goes on in the background and These this little knob right here is your temperature control so you can fiddle with this knob a little bit and The higher you put it the hotter or the faster it will heat up now Typically you don't want to go in this range this uh, 8 9 10 range this starts heating up very very fast Usually, you know, you can start off at about a five or a six just at the beginning to get it, you know, within about 30 degrees of your sample's uh, melting temperature. And then you're going to lower it down to, say, like a, a three, maybe a four. Um, and then you want to heat it about two or three degrees Celsius per minute as you approach the expected melting uh, temperature. Now, uh, what you'll go ahead and do, and I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off now, is you will insert your thermometer into this hole right here. So you'll notice there is a hole right there, and the thermometer actually goes into this hole. So you'll just go ahead and stick it in there and make sure it's all the way deep inside. Now you'll go ahead and with your melting uh, point capillaries, You'll go ahead and grab a little bit of it. And of course, you know, get some of that powder into the tube. And then once you have some in there, you'll notice there's a few crystals there at the bottom. And the crystals there at the bottom, uh, if there's any on top, you'll just go ahead and tap it a few times and you'll notice there's another slot inside of the melt up. And typically, you're not gonna be um, tilting it, but for demonstration purposes, we're just showing you where it goes. So you'll push it all the way in there, and then you can uh, go ahead and monitor it with this little lens on the inside. And of course, the, there's the light for you. So thank you for watching this video. Now, if you have any other questions, please feel free to talk to your instructor, talk to your lab instructor, um, or of course, you know, email them, stop by office hours, and, you know, just keep the communication open, and we will see you next time. And remember, safety first.